Hello everybody and welcome to a new, well not new, kind of new, anyway welcome to VWE War which starts on Purgatory from now on and I'm live with Jeff Beck, Chris Snyder, boys welcome. Get the big here guys, thank you for the opportunity. We are not in Anchorage, Alaska. We are coming to you live from the Chase Auditorium in St. Louis, Missouri. Brad, you keep saying we're in Anchorage. I'm going to kick your ass. Boys, this is going to be exciting. Fired. I heard that we got we are under new uh, Brad fired a lot of production staff. We got we got new things happening tonight from new people. Let's hope they do their jobs right, unlike Brad. Thanks, Brad. Uh, Chris, thank you for joining us as the third man here tonight. And we got Yak Boy making his way to the ring. Making his way down the entrance ramp for the very first time in VWE. And the crowd is already receptive. Normally it takes a couple, you know, a week, two weeks before the crowd can really get the feel behind a guy, but his energy, the way he carries himself, He's making a fan of him out of the crowd already. I really like his uh, entrance music. I like the energy. The kid is 100% where he wants to be. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the show, well, this is this is new to us. You're watching VWE War to start off Purgatory. We are, what, two matches away from Purgatory actually starting tonight? Just a little bit of time away. And as the time ticks, Bob Axel makes his way down to the ring, a longtime FMW name. Recently, he transferred to VWE in order to get himself a shot against some of the new guys in the business. And I believe, Lee, the last time that we saw him was in the over-the-top battle royal for the VWE World Championship. Oh, I, I forgot to pass you guys your tablet. Uh, yeah, make sure you, uh, you know, sign in. I was here last night. I know this shit. And Aldo. He's, this would be a member of the court. Brad Miller's little group of dipshit. And Sicily Aldo. VCA. You know, Chris, this guy reminds me a lot of a snooty little Frenchman from Talladega Nights. I don't know why, but every time I speak to him, I just get that feeling. Yak boy, Bob Axel. And we got VCA, and the bell's about to ring. Here we go, VWE War, first match starting out Purgatory. Oh, guys, the coffee's great you provided. You drink the coffee here? We have Man coffee? Yeah, normally I just bring a gin and juice. Normally I bring whatever Jeff's assistant hands me. A gin and juice. Oh. I'm a recovering alcoholic, Jeff. Well, Lee, it helps you get through the show, and you've been doing fine <laughs> when you get home, haven't you? Bob, Axel, and VCA locking up for the first time in this match. VCA failed on a drop kick, which is now... Oh, my Lord! Over the head, German suplex. Well, belly to belly suplex, rather. We call it an American suplex. Yeah. Brought democracy to the belly to belly. Oh, Lord! Bob Axel gives me Braun Breaker vibes. I think it should go a little bit in reverse order. Bronston Rex Steiner gives you Bob Axel vibes. <laughs> there you go.
this elimination or one fall? I believe this is elimination and oh, kick to his feet, kicks to the back of the head. Bob Axel's down, and here we go. BCA is locked up with the Act Boy. Act Boy's not taking him out. Here we go. DDT one, two, no. And Bob Axel is to his feet, but Act Boy continuing the offense. Hurricane Rana to Bob Axel and Spring and catches VCA with the backflip kick. VCA from the back of Yakboy. Yakboy with an elbow. Bob Axel tackles him. It looks like Yakboy's going up. Bob Axel, though. Oh, slaps him. Oh, but Yakboy gets down small. Oh, no. Oh, God. I can't believe he just did that, Lee. One, two, no. Boy, almost had a very bad debut. Oh, Bob Axel setting up, but VCA from behind. Is he going to attack? No, he lets him go. Oh! Back up. One, two, kick out. But the broken Axel is not going to put away Yak Boy. Oh. Dragon whip to the leg and a super kick to VCA. But Axel is to his feet. And Yak Boy realizes all too late. Dropped on his back. Yak Boy rolls out of the ring and VCA just being violated right now by Bob Axel. You know, it's one of the things I love about Bob Axel. Bob Axel is an American soldier. He was over there in the war, Iraq. In Iran, he, he participated in two tours, and he came back, was an FMW, and the thing about him is the man is just incredibly strong. Oh! 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 Well, Drake's been helping there, Lee. He's got his face broken by you. I am Drake. sorry, guys. I had to answer a text from my fiance. Your fiance? You know, I was getting married? You know what? Hit. This, this conversation for another time, Chris. And one, two, no. I don't uh, know. VCA's been more work to Yak Boy if he wants to get the job done and come away with the win here. Is Bob Axel uh, okay? He's eliminated. He'll be all right. He just got his pride broken a little bit. Oh! I was about oh. to say, his pride hurt more than anything. Yak Boy is. Oh, boy. His arm work right now, Lee. And then you got VCA above him, and uh, things are not looking good for Yak Boy. Hey, Lee, hit this. Oh! <laughs> I'm not sure I've ever seen that move. <laughs> Inverted Samoan drop. God, I love St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, Corey brings a different kind of offense to the table. And I get, I think it's that unpredictability that has kept him alive in this match and might just get him the victory here against Van Sicily Aldo. Van Sicily Aldo making his way back in the ring. He's a member of the core, ladies and gentlemen, which is uh, Brad Miller who owns VWE, or did own. We never really got a word on that. Cover, one. Kick out. VWE was purchased by FMW. Brad Miller holds no stake in that. He owns the network, though. Oh! Which I heard, uh, well, I mean, I heard we started the show up with announcing it. Uh, New production team, which I'm, I'm happy to hear. Cover, one, two, no. <laughs> Realistically, it's the same production team as last year. We had a uh, an ex-employee return to the fold. Oh, oh, oh! Omega oh. driver and Van Sisley Aldo might just have it here, Lee. Two. 
and it's all over. Vances Lialdo winning this triple threat, and I don't know what that means for him going forward. But congratulations, Vances Lialdo. As we move on to the next match tonight, the next match is not going to be a sleeper, or maybe it is a sleeper. I got, I got, it depends on where you're at in the world and your definition of a sleeper, I guess. But we're, we're about to have Leroy Diamond taking on Tyler Ferguson, a rematch for the VWE World Championship. Don't go anywhere. Well, here we go, folks. We're about to start this one off. Rematch for the WWE World Championship. And here he comes. The contender, former champion, Leroy Diamond. No Tyler Ferguson this made his boss happy by off. bringing that title back to Rich Money Enterprises. And this man here, Leroy Diamond, this is a man that feels robbed by the referee's decision last night. Halloween lockdown just last night, and that that's probably something that's gonna be that you need to remember all night long. These guys just fought last night. I mean, what all can they give us tonight? The Tyler didn't even have to walk the goat last night. <laughs> Is this a rib? Come on, Lee, tell me this is a rib, brother. What, what? VWE World Champion Tyler Ferguson making his way to the ring. You know what? Well, I keep Tyler's theme music, and that belt looks good around his waist. Tyler Ferguson did what everyone thought he was not going to be able to do after the beating he endured by Malenko. And he comes back and claims the VWE world title later in the night. And I got to say, Jeff and Chris, it, it was a shock to me. It was a shock to the entire world. The Leroy Diamond looks focused. Jeff, does it give you a little bit of a bitter feeling saying that belt with the Rich, Rich Money Enterprises? <laughs> Jeff's got no comment for you, Chris. <laughs> I'll take you.
Well, here we go. VWE world title is being raised. Tyler Ferguson, Leroy Diamond, and here we go. Good <laughs> win. These two going right after each other, picking up where they left off from yesterday. Oh, Leroy Diamond talking some smack. So the back of Tyler's mind, he has to be thinking if he loses here, he can be the shortest reigning uh, VWE champion in history. Cover one, no. Here in the corner. Oh, man. Nether Spear. Oh, God. Leroy Diamond is lighting up the VWE World Champ. It would not surprise me to see Leroy Diamond with main roster gold around his waist. Dude. Cover, one kick out. Jeff, did you mute yourself? Where, what happened to Jeff? Uh-oh, uh-oh! Hey, I may have made him so bad that he left the table. <laughs> 21 got salute! One, two, kick out. Oh. Cover one, two, kick out. Oh, what a dominator. Cover. Now. One, two, no. Someone's got to start getting him in the middle of the ring and stop uh, trying to pin him near the ropes. Right, by Tyler. Well, hey, Jeff. Nice to, nice to see you back, buddy. So, we're gonna have a little uh, team versus team action coming up. And if I win, oh, I get to kick back. One, two, no. He's agreed huh? to it. I've agreed to it. Weathered leather! Cover! Oh. One! Two! No! Kicked out? 
Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, we are just a few moments away from the start of FMW Purgatory. Do not go anywhere. Oh! One! Two! By the way, Chris, uh, Jeff wasn't even at the table when you asked your question, so he didn't even hear you. What I was asking, Jeff, was uh, does it make you feel a little bitter uh, to see the belt around the waist of somebody with rich money enterprises? Not at all, because the shortest reign in VWE history is far more embarrassing. Looks like the Brain Buster Academy has a goal. There's always goals, Lee. After this, the goal is to take out the core. If we can take out the core, I get five minutes with Brad Miller. Oh! Oh! Not only was that news huge, but Leroy Diamond's in the top rope! Leroy Diamond with an elbow! Oh my god! Oh. When you hit a move that big on somebody, it's just instinctual to stop and ask another chest field. Leroy Diamond has now took control, and this could be the end for Tyler Ferguson. Could we see the shortest reign in I'm BWE history tonight? Oh! Oh! Knee to the gut. Oh, I know what's coming. Weathered leather! Cover! One! Two! Three! Tyler Ferguson is pinned Leroy Diamond and it's still BWE World Champion! The upset brain too happy. The upset Brain Buster Academy was waiting for did not happen. Rich Buddy Enterprises, Tyler Ferguson continues his reign. Guys, here in a moment, we are about to start FMW Purgatory. Don't go anywhere. If we could get this guy out of the ring, we could. And thank you for staying watching. And now we start FMW Purgatory. I'm still with Jeff Beck. I'm still with Chris Snyder. And we are still live in St. Louis, Missouri, baby. Pleasure to be here. And here we go, first match of FMW Purgatory. They've changed the stuff back. We are now in what feels familiar to everybody at home, and we are starting this with Tonga Crow versus Ashley. Not one entirely familiar with the history of Tonga Crow. Tonga Crow is the wife. She is the mom to TJ Crow. That 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 is, uh, yeah, Tonga Crow. I I don't, I don't really have much more to it. She's an FMW. And coming off the heels of a successful title defense. 
Just 24 hours ago, the FMW Women's Champion makes her way to the ring. The longest reigning FMW Women's Champion to date, Ashley. Is there anything to the rumors about Ashley dating uh, star Joseph Robinson? No comment. Ladies and gentlemen, this one's about to get started. Bell's about to ring. Ding, ding, ding. Tonga Crow. Ashley, look at the vet getting started here. She knows she has to keep the champion on her heels the entire Not even a one count going the for the cover. The certainly looks intimidating. Not intimidating the champion. Oh my lord. Two. And the unit offense of the witch gets a two count, whereas all of the offense of Tonga Crow didn't even amount to a one count, Lee. Things are not looking good for Tonga Crow. Tonga Crow trying to reach for the ropes. She's within inches, but she can't get to it. Oh! Finds another way out. <laughs> Elbow to the back. Looking for a Rana. Oh. Cover! No. Wouldn't have mattered anyway if foot was underneath the rope. Referee's certainly been doing a better job than the old one did about catching feet on the ropes. You might want to go yeah, we, uh, watch we Halloween we Lockdown. Oh, oh, Smitty back fix miss. Tonga. Oh, 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 oh. The strikes are finding their way home, but the champion is still on her feet and still fighting. But no, that's definitely true. Did Chris. I think correctly that, uh. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying it was true that, uh, this ref is better than last two. Oh, cover broken. Two count, just barely. He said Tonga was married to TJ Crow? No, no, no. That's the, the mom of TJ Crow. The, she is the wife to Thomas Crow Sr. Okay, I got you. I was thinking it was TJ's sister for some reason. No. Married. Oh! Cover! And then. One, no! A Let me try to get a little confusing around right here sometimes. Oh, yeah. Oh. What was that move, Jeff? Oh! That would, that would have been a standing Spanish fly, Lee, and this, this oh. is a door. Oh, what? Had an answer for it. Built a world backbreaker. The champion's on a roll now, Lee. Just keeps going after that back. Caught the leg. Spinning fist missed again. Not gonna matter too much. Standing on the oh, hair! No. Ow. We're letting that go. That move from Triple C! This might be it. Oh! Murder breaker. To the top rope! He's not done yet. Oh, Lord! Six, oh. 30 cents on. One, two, three! 
twice in 24 hours, the witch retains her title. I mean, I've hurt my tongue up, but she was just no match for Ashley. What do you do after you take a vertebraker and then a 630? You stay down. That's exactly what you do. Human you do anyway. God damn, Jeff. Well, hey, Joe, we move I on to the fourth up. match, which uh, is left blank. I don't, I don't know what's going on. By the way, I got another one lighting up right now. Oh, what? Chris Michaels is making his way out here. Let's see, let's see what Chris Michaels has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, these are part of the new segments you're going to start seeing. Some of the new stuff that's been worked in. And, uh, yeah, that's why this match is just blank on the, the paper. So, uh, yeah, let's see what uh, Chris Michaels has to say here. I think he must be in business because he didn't even bring his new championship belt with him. Didn't bring his new championship belt? That's, that's not a good sign for us. We, uh... We might want to get on the other side of the guardrail, fellas. Gentlemen, if you look underneath the desk, you will find a 45. You know, Isaac Irving, you, have nothing for you. you jumped me last week after our match against the Lees. You turn on every person in EOP when we've done nothing but look out for you guys. You come to us saying you want to be part of the elite force in EFED. And then you turn your back on us. You don't help. Then you come after us one by one. I don't know what your deal is, Isaac Irving, but you need to get your ass out to this ring. And you and I need to go one-on-one. -on -one. You and I have some things to settle. I am the demigod. I am the enforcer of EOP. And you've got some answering. So get your ass down to the ring. Oh, oh my God! Isaac Irving's coming out! After he turned on Joseph in the elimination chamber. And here we go! Oh, Michaels is going straight after him! You sure a 45 would work on Isaac? Oh, Mag will. Ooh. And all it takes is each one of us to hit three. We'll be all right. Uh, we need Doctor Loomis did hit Michael Myers with six shots. Yeah, but uh, Michael got nothing on Isaac. Oh, oh! Michael's dead. Isaac ain't. We got the demigod versus a real monster among men, if you want to say that. Uh, Michael's. And Isaac are just trading back and forth here. I don't, uh, none of us are breaking this up. So, I, Brad, you can stop asking that now. Either you call for security or we let the show go on. I don't really care which way, Brad, man. They're just going to referee out here and make this official. Michaels, keep it out of the crowd. Michaels has now took this into the crowd and, uh, this isn't something we've seen lately. And Isaac's not gonna, he's not gonna hesitate for a moment. Back and forth, these two monsters, a demigod <laughs> and a monster fighting it out. I mean, hey, you might want to pull your kid back, sir. <laughs> These people are just cheering this on. Oh, except for that guy. Thumbs down. Good job, sir. Uh, do ticket holders have a waiver? 
Uh, no, we didn't. Why right, we're going to commercial break? I'm glad they broke that up, guys. We're sorry for anyone that was put in harm's way. Uh, everything. L ladies and gentlemen, uh, making their way to the ring, RME. <coughs> Tyler having a title defense earlier, retaining, and then now the Million Dollar Kid uh, at his side who uh, came up short in the Elimination Chamber. But we'll see how this goes where we have a rematch for the FW Tag Team Championships. Army versus Execution. Not favoring the odds of RME here tonight, Lee. Against most other teams, they got the odds. But these guys, no secret that I'm a buddy. Let's get ready for this tag team match. Uh, sorry that you missed the entrance of the execution. They just appeared in the ring. It was it was kind of crazy. Uh, anyway, Rich Money Enterprise, the new tag team champs who came back Halloween lockdown, weren't even scheduled to show up. We had a three way tag team match. And it blew the roof off the place. Execution became tag team champions. And but we're about to see RME versus Execution. Two on two. Let's get it all. Secret that I'm a fan of Rich Money Enterprises, and I may be a little biased, but I have to say that I think that the Wait, new what? million dollar kid version of JMR is the best we've seen. Oh, JMR and Butcher locked up. Million Dollar Kid up and over. One, no. On the inverse, this is the best shape I've ever seen Butcher in. Butcher came back at the top of his game. That's definitely for sure, as we've seen in that ladder match. He's lost some weight and put on more muscle in the gym. Uh-oh, wrenching back on that arm. Little bit of joint manipulation, Lee. The million dollar kid might have to be paying a million uh, to a Cairo after that one. The Rich Money Enterprises has a great health care plan. And here comes the outlaw. What did the referee do to you, Tyler? I don't know if that was an accident or on purpose. Jeff's going to have to review the footage there and make a decision on uh, if Tyler's going to review the shit. That's 15000 All right. Well, fine delivered to Rich Money Enterprise. And here comes Tyler Ferguson. A rag doll. Hangman Johnny Gage playing with Tyler Ferguson like a mouse, in my opinion. Because at any moment, Hangman could snap and we could see this whole oh arena be in jeopardy. The head squeeze submission. That was starting to fade. Going after the leg. The outlaw already been in a match tonight. Butcher being tagged in now. And Tyler's really clenching that leg, clenching that knee. Oh, Tyler back in the ring. Smart move. He's trying to make it to JMR. No, he decides to go off the road. Oh, he missed. Arm drag. Sorry, hip toss. Yeah, you're right, Jeff. My bad. Oh, we only got one match to recover before this.
That is true, Chris, and him and Leroy had a barn burner. Into the corner. Up to the top rope. What's going on here? JMR, oh no, Butcher. Dropping away, right at the clavicle, and a diving double axe in. Uh-oh, one. Oh, not enough for the million dollar kid. JMR, and now tagging in Hangman Johnny Gage. And he's gonna go for the outlaw. Oh, what a counter. Oh, Hangman might be busted open. Gage is busted. He's looking for a DDT! One! Hangman kicks out. Tyler's starting to realize that he's gonna have to do a lot more to put down Hangman Johnny Gage. Giving it everything he's got. But Hangman is unrelenting. Butcher is now back in. And Tyler up to his feet somehow. We're about to see a 21 against the Luke. And he hits it. Here we go, go with the cover. One, two, no! Butcher's got to make the peg the hangman here. Oh! Ooh, J-Mark came down wrong on his arm. Same one he delivers that million dollar elbow with. Oh! JMR placed down on the butcher's block, but not quite done yet. And here we go, he's wrapped up. This could be it for JMR. Oh, this might not end well. Oh, Hangman across the ring. I think that might have just ended the chance. Oh, JMR's alive. Now many men come back from the triangle choke. Backstabber! Oh! Well, he picked the wrong corner. Million dollar elbow! Hangman couldn't touch him, the referee was watching, and this could be it. One, two, no! Tagging in Hangman Johnny Gage. And things are not looking good for Rich Money Enterprise in the current moment. And now it's JMR who starts to bleed. Oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, Lord! With a blow that could cave in the chest. And here comes Butcher in again. Oh, JMR can't see out of that one eye. His depth perception's off. Doing his best to hang against Victor. Tagging in Tyler.
The outlaw has Butcher. Right where he wants him. Oh! Running Bulldog! Oh, right hand, left hand. He's got him up, down. Oh! Chin breaker, leg whip. Went for the senton for the second time in a row, but Tyler read it that time. Kitchen sink. But Gage back to his feet, right oh, back to the offense. My now God! The living shit out of Tyler Ferguson. Oh, JMR ran into him. Again, depth perception off that one eye's damaged. And Butcher. Is going to take advantage, Lee. That might be it right there. JMR needs a tag in the worst way. But there's nobody to tag it to right now. Oh, God. Tyler is on the ground. One, two. Mar at the mercy of execution right now. Oh my God! Stop him! And I'm like, yeah. Stop him! Jamar's oh. out. And it doesn't even look like Tyler cared to try to help his tag team partner. I think Tyler may have just gotten back to his feet and seen that. I, I'm not too sure, Jeff. We'll have to re-view the footage. But, uh, wow. I, if JMR was lifeless in the hands of Hangman Johnny Gage. For me, may have to have a human resources moment. Now we have Rich and Crunkman. In a table match. Could be interesting. And ahead of his entrance to the ring, Rich asked a production assistant at Gorilla if we could have the ring mics turned up so he could be heard. He feels that he has something to say. think that you could trust me, crunk man? <laughs> Why would I ever need you when I already have the best member of civil disobedience on my team? Now stop your crying, get out here, 
so you can bow down to the king. <laughs> you know what, Chris? I shouldn't be surprised. I am, but I shouldn't be. You know, you... You lay around with the dogs, you're bound to get a few fleas every now and then. Now, you sit there and say that you got the better member of civil disobedience. Well, that's stepped up for an opinion. And just like I turn the page and close the book on my partnership with Tyler, I'm about to turn the page and close the book on you. See you in the ring. Well. Well, looks like this one's about to start. Croakman, Rich, and here we go. And these two not very happy with each other. Rich going straight in. Croakman. Oh, God. Oh. The hardest part of the ring. Oh, Lord. Krugman not looking good in the start of this match. Remember, just last night, Krugman was in Elimination Chamber. No, Rich is unhappy about losing that uh, full honor title to Michaels. And that started the show, so Rich has had the most time than anyone to recuperate. That's true. Oh, Krugman brought a table in the ring already. Oh, blocked by Krug. Oh, blocked by Rich. Oh. Oh, Rich is going to the top rope. Elbow. I thought that we would see very often. You know, he's got uh, the million dollar kid. Oh! And then that glove to the face of Krugman. Krugman is, is rivaling around. I'd say the referee should check that glove, see if there's anything in it, but there's no rules here. Oh, no. Not like this. Krugman's out. Rich is going to the top rope! Come on, Krugman! Oh! Oh! What? Rich did it for himself. What a moment. Krugman is very happy with himself. Rich, not so much. I don't think I've ever seen a table match in like that. First man to go through a table loses.
That's the rule. Drunk man very happy. Oh! Oh, what? What is... Oh. Oh, Krugman's busted open. Hand has been opened back up. Nobody ever said this guy was a good sport. Wow. Oh. A hundred dollar bill. Wow. Oh, the crowd is not happy. Well, I think that was very nice of Richard's part to give uh, his opponent that just beat him a hundred dollars. Well, guys, this is where we don't really know what happens for the rest of the night. The main event is slotted just for the new undisputed grand champion Joseph Robinson who's making his way to the ring now this is his celebration anything can happen I wonder what could possibly be on the line. the elimination chamber for the second year in a row. Yeah, two years in a row. Winner of Elimination Chamber. Definitely a new record. Let's see what's on the mind of the Grand Undisputed Champion for the celebration of Joseph Robinson. St. Louis, how the hell are we doing tonight? Oh, what? What, did I beat one of your heroes? Unfortunate for them, they are losers just like each and every one of you. But now onto important business. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. Two years in a row, I step into that elimination chamber with a title on the line, and two years in a row, I walk out with said championship. I told all of you, it was my destiny to become God. And the only way to do that was by winning this championship. So you could call this uh, a little celebration of sorts. A tribute to the man that has kept FMW running with the company on his back for 18 months now. You're fucking welcome. Now it seems that management doesn't really have an opponent for me at Death Brawl. So it looks like once again, I get to go out and pick one for myself. Because on top of the fact that none of them have any sort of winning record worthy of challenging me, none of them got the balls to go ahead and do it. Now, if I could be proven wrong, go ahead, let me be, let me be proven wrong now. Whoa, it looks like Chris Chaos answering that call. Boys, what do you think? Very surprising considering he was very surprising considering he was the final man in there with uh, Robinson last night. And I think that's who Robinson was hitting at at the beginning of his statement of the celebration. So the celebration being crashed by Chris Chaos, and we are about to find out why.
Well, I guess we know why. Hello, champ. Let me be the first to publicly, in front of all these fans here at the arena and watching at home, to congratulate on surviving the chamber and walking out as the champ. The undisputed champ. Now say what you will, but I'm here because I'm your first challenger. And you've been talking smack and shit about me since I got here. And it's time that I shut your mouth. Oh, Robinson attacking Chaos. Things are going ham here. Chaos fighting back. Looks like they're working their way on the ramp. We've seen the damage the ramp could do via Rich and Crookman, etc., etc. Triple C's injury. They are fighting up the ramp. All right, this is semi-contained. They're not going into the crowd. Let them vent their little frustration. Well, we're going to have to get security out here either way. Now that Brad already paid him for the night, you know he's probably going to use them. So these guys only have a couple moments. And you saw Robinson looking around for him. These two fighting back and forth. I don't know who's going to be able to split these guys up. But he would have split them up. Going to take at least eight men, Lee. Things are not looking good here, boys. Oh, here we go. Here's security, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's that's all we have for you tonight. Uh, thanks for guys for watching it's FMW. Open. And uh, I'm Lee Dark, Jeff Beck, Chris Snyder, peace!